Anyways, hi. Didn't expect to see you all there. <laughs> Welcome to another recap episode. This is, uh... Kansas. That's right, Kansas. That's what we're talking about. We are going to talk about Kansas. So, let's open that up real quick for you. Shall we, everybody? As we go and find it. And I have to say, whoo wee, wasn't Kansas a weird hot shot? Uh, let me say that. Uh, first two stages of Kansas were pretty quiet and almost uneventful, if you think about this, really. I'm not going to put any special things down, whatever. I'm just going to give you straight up. Because I don't have a lot of time to think about. I got some stuff to edit. I got a lot of things to figure out at this point. So that's what I'm going to do at this point. So, uh, recap. Uh, from the first two stages, since they were mostly green, um, 88 uh, won stage one with 38. Second, 36th, third, 18th, fourth, 25th, uh, the four car, six, 32, 7th, 19th, 19th car, eighth, I finished ninth, and the 42, 10th. So we got two stage, we got two points from finishing ninth in stage one. So that was something. Usual a uh, stage two quietness. Uh, Nineteen won the stage. So uh, that's normally a dominant pleaser, and I'm still have him as my MVP. If you've been watching all those links down the series down there, you know why. Eighty-eight won stage two. Eighty-eight won stage one. He finished second stage two. Nineteen won the stage. Eighteen finished third. Thirty-six fourth. Thirty-eight fifth. Fourth. Four car. 6th place. We finished 7th in Stage 2, so we got 4 We got four points, so we gained 6 points off of Stages. So, I was happy that happened. And, uh, uh, 32 finished 8th in Stage 2, 20 finished ninth in Stage 2, and the 66 finished 10th. So, there were opportunities for it. Now, in league racing like these, when you go to Kansas, you know it's pack racing at its best. Until everybody gets, like, single filed or whatever they are, and they just go, you know. So, that's that's always the case what it is. So, like I said before, the first two stages, they were, they were pretty quiet. So, they were pretty quiet. They were pretty uneventful at this point. Until, I think it was like... Good portion of laps in, I think it was, it was about at least set six or seven laps where we finally had a caution for an accident. So, so yeah, that took a while for it to happen, but it did happen when it counts. So that was something. So as I'm go ahead, like quickly scrolling through here, um, I mean, this was all packed at this point. I mean, there were good contenders in there. We were try I was trying everything I can, but I just didn't have enough long speed. Short run speed is one thing, but long run is a different story in some circumstances. We did get another caution flu. Two cars wrecked on the front stretch. That happened at point, so that was another caution period that did happen at the point. So everybody... Side to came come in for some service. That was a sign everybody could make it to the rest of the way at that point. So I mean, and I we did had one more caution. I think yeah, it happened. We did have one more caution at the point. So now <laughs> it shows that desperate measures once again. Everybody is going to come down pit road for stuff, and now it turned to a shootout for the rest of the way. Now, for the rest of the way, like, uh, I think 
there was maybe one other incident that probably happened. It happened with something happened with the 32. I was behind the 36. So we were fifth and six. We were just laying back waiting for something to happen. But the four guys that were far ahead hit the here's the lap. I'm gonna give you a recap of the last lap now. They're going to it now. So it was the 88. 19, 18, and 38. They were fighting for on the last lap. Since they those were the four that were going to be fighting for the win. 88 dive bomb move in a turn one. Got got cleared to 19. But 19 tried to do a crossover, but he made a pretty good block. Then it was contact there. Then the 18 put a dive bomb shot on to the 19. He basically screwed his own teammate. Which led to the 88 to get by and win the race of Kansas. So, yeah, that honestly happened right out of the blue. And, um, the, we have two people officially now in the championship war. It is the 19 that I put down last week. And now this week, it is the 88 joining the fray. Now keep an eye on, now keep an eye on this. So if you have been paying attention to the links below down there, when you have time like to watch it, if I'm involved, like in the one of those leaks, you know for sure there is some little bit of blood going on. So I suggest we all keep an eye on that. But now I'm gonna open this. So I'm gonna open this as we look at the standing. So VTH, who is the 19, even is the 88. They're both locked in. 38, he looks like he's going to be locked in at this point. As long as there is, like, no error whatsoever. And I believe in the 38 can stay in the front. Just get the stages, stage points he needs, and he's good to go. But through 5th through 8th on back, though, sub state for 5th place, he's not in a must win. I still say must win regardless. Because it's it's not gonna matter at this point, so and I might be wrong, but I might be right. We're both situations will be right, but I'm gonna say this straight up. It still must win through fifth through eighth. So here are the numbers. Twenty four myself as forty three and the one. So Sniper Hyper is out by this is twenty three points. Uh Lionsman who's the four out by 32 points we're out by 36 points and the hat haddock is in the one who's who missed one week is already well behind so basically from that moment on it's a must win at daytona that is the thing so i suggest you all pay attention to what's down there below in the comments down there or the description of look for those look at these links and you'll find one of the Wednesdays that we are going to be in we're going to be re try to race to get in the championship four and by doing that we have to get Daytona there is only one way to do it so it's all going to be inside line game that's always going to be it's a chess so that's going to be interesting to, to see and what's going to happen so 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 basically maybe the top three is probably secure fourth one is up for grabs between kibble snipe private alliance myself and haddock that is the possibility right now so so honestly and i so here here's what it looks like for eighth place so that you'll probably get a better answer so, there you go so that's a better way to describe it and understand it. So that's what it looks like right now. So we'll see what happens when we get to Daytona. So thank you all for listening to the recap. I know it's probably not much because I don't have enough evidence. But enough time is so past. I got to get some stuff done. Whatever it is. Doesn't matter if it's another video I'm working on or it's just life that is catching up on me. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.